Follow along as I transform this Excel file into a Power BI dashboard. Start by clicking Import Data from Excel. Select the file and click Open. In the Navigator pop-up, you can choose from data tables or sheets within the file, depending on how the data is formatted. You could also choose multiple tables and sheets if needed. Make your selections and click Load. Once Power BI has finished loading the data, it will show up in the Fields pane. Click the drop-down arrow to view all available fields. Next, we'll start by inserting a text box and typing a title for the dashboard, and then adjust the size, font, and formatting. We'll then insert an image below the title. This could be a picture, icon, or business logo. We'll use the people icon for this dashboard. Now, we'll add a simple card visual to show the total number of teams. Because this is a text field, it will default to showing the first team. Click the drop-down arrow to change the display to count the distinct number of teams. Then click the drop-down and rename the visual. Add another card visual to display the total number of employees. And then one more card visual to display the combined years of service. Now I want to add some formatting, but instead of using the default theme within Power BI, I want to import a theme I previously created with custom colors and font. To do this, I'll go to the View tab and click the drop-down next to Themes. Then click Browse for Themes and select my file. And then you can see that the theme imported successfully. Select the first card visual and click the formatting icon within the visualizations pane. Under the callout value, update the font color. Next, I'll use the Format Painter under the Home tab to quickly copy the formatting to the other two visuals. Now, I want to add a background shape to the visuals. Go to the Insert tab and select a shape. Then adjust the color, border, and shadow under the Style drop-down. Use Ctrl-C to copy the shape and Ctrl-V to paste two copies. Drag the shapes over the card visuals and then send them backward using the options under the Format tab. As you can see, the shapes disappear which means I need to remove the background from the card visuals. Do this by navigating to the general options, expand the effects drop down, and turn the background off for each visual. Next, we'll add a stacked area chart to display the number of new hires per year. Drag the start date field into the x-axis and remove the month and day, leaving only the year. Then drag the employee ID into the y-axis and reposition the visual within the dashboard.
Click the formatting icon within the visualizations pane and turn the titles off within the X and Y axis. I'll also turn the grid lines off. Under the Lines drop-down, update the color and area transparency. Then turn the markers on, increase the size, and apply a color. Next, navigate to the General tab and update the title and alignment. Then, I'll go ahead and remove the background so I can add a shape behind the visual. Select the shape under the Insert tab and update the color, border, and shadow to match the others. Drag the shape over the visual and then send it backward using the options under the Format tab. Next, we'll add a line and clustered column chart to display the annual performance ratings for each team. Drag the team field into the x-axis. Drag the 2020 and 2021 performance rating fields into the y-axis. Because these are percentages, we'll want to update the calculation to average and then give the fields a shorter title for the visual. Now, I want to add goal markers to the visual. But, I don't have a field for this in my data table. Since the goal is the same for all teams, I'll just add a new measure with this value. To do this, click New Measure and give it a unique title, then enter the equal sign. Type 0.9 for 90%. Now I can add this new goal measure to my visual by dragging it into the line y-axis. Under the formatting icon, remove the titles from the X and Y axis. Then hide the grid lines. Update the legend alignment to center. Under the Lines drop-down, change the stroke width to zero to hide the line, update the color, then turn markers on and adjust the type, size, and color. Under the column drop-down, adjust the colors.
Click General and update the title and alignment. Insert the shape, adjust the color, border, and shadow. Then place it over the visual and send it backward using the options under the Format tab. Remove the chart background and resize to fit. Next, add a donut chart to display work locations. Drag the work location field into the legend box. Then drag the employee ID field into the values box and select distinct count to show the number of employees per location. Under the formatting icon, click the legend drop down and update the alignment to center. Then update the color of each slice. Under the General tab, update the title and alignment. Because the legend is unable to display all locations, I'm going to turn it off and instead add the category and value to the data labels for a cleaner view. Next, I want to add the total number of states inside the donut chart as an extra data element. To do this, I'll add a card visual with the work location field. Because it is a text field, Power BI defaults to showing the first value. I'll update that to display a distinct count instead. Position the visual within the donut chart, update the title, then update the color and remove the background. Insert the shape, adjust the color, border, and shadow. Then place it over the visual and send it backward using the options under the Format tab. Remove the background on the donut chart and resize to fit. Finally, we'll add some finishing touches by adjusting the location of the title. And then add a slicer visual to make this an interactive dashboard and allow users to filter by department. Adjust the slicer orientation to horizontal and resize, then position it at the top of the dashboard.